And the mass shootings in Dayton and El Paso are prompting some Democratic lawmakers in California to call for change. KSBY News reporter Asia Gore joins us live in San Luis Obispo with reaction from our local and state leaders and what they want to see happen. Asia? Richard and Karina, a new law requiring background checks on ammunition purchases took effect here in California last month. And today, California Governor Gavin Newsom is calling for that kind of law to take effect nationwide. We are outraged and sickened by this monstrous evil. In response to the shootings in El Paso and Dayton over the weekend, President Trump condemns racism and white supremacy. These sinister ideologies must be defeated. Hate has no place in America. That sentiment echoed by California Governor Gavin Newsom. The issue of white supremacy, the issue of what is occurring here in the state of California, the issue of domestic terrorism, the issue uh, that has brought so much focus and attention in our national debate and discourse, uh, that's real even here in California. But in a stream of tweets, California Democratic Senator Salute Carbajal criticizes the president's response. He writes, quote, the president was wrong about so many of the causes and responses to mass shootings, but he got one thing right. We must pass extreme risk laws to make sure that people who shouldn't have guns don't get them. Carbajal co-authored a bill introduced in February called the Extreme Risk Protection Order Act. It would allow family or law enforcement to petition a judge to remove firearms from a person in crisis. Governor Newsom also calling for nationwide background checks for ammunition purchases and expanding a task force to increase safety at schools and large public events. Newsom takes issue with Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell for not supporting stricter gun laws. Why don't you put up the vote? Put it on the Senate floor. He doesn't have the guts to do it. He's weak. He's a weak leader. We also reached out to Republican Assemblyman Jordan Cunningham for comment, but he is out of the office for the summer recess. Live in San Luis Obispo, I'm Asia Gore, KSBY News. Asia, thank you. In his public address today, President Trump floated the idea of red flag gun laws like the one introduced by Senator uh, Congressman Carbajal.